AI technology is penetrating and influencing all industries. We are witnessing the impacts of health tech, fintech, agritech, edtech, legal tech. Wait, legal tech? Could you imagine committing a crime and being charged for it, but your punishment will not be decided by human, but by an artificial intelligence? This AI will listen to all the witness statements, look at evidence and ultimately pass a judgment on you. For you or any human, it will be difficult or only impossible to understand why the AI made a certain decision. But many tests have proven that on average the AI achieves better result than a human judge. Would you accept a judgment like this? Is it even the right thing to give an AI the power over such important decisions? We will discuss it in this video. And I will tell you how developed legal tech actually is today. Let's face this. Court proceedings are costly. Legal texts are long, complicated and must always be applied to the specific case. In addition, witnesses have to be questioned, contracts have to be read and in the end everything has to be documented in detail so that the case is comprehensible for everyone. We all can agree that such an effort is important and right in the case of a murder. But courts also deal with cases that are rather unimportant and it will take forever until these cases even get reviewed. Introducing Robo-Judge. He can make sure that people in court have time for the more important things by deciding less important cases in minutes. But how could a Robo-Judge like this work? And is there already a country where this is used? We find the answers in Estonia. Here AI is already being developed and tested to hear and decide cases between parties for less than 7000 euros. Estonian government officials say they hope that the system will clear a backlog of cases for judges and court clerks. In concept, the two parties to a dispute will upload documents and other relevant information to a court platform and the AI will issue a decision that can be appealed to a human judge. The project is set to launch later this year and will begin by resolving contract disputes. With this, Estonia is taking a big step forward the future of AI technology. As one of the smallest countries in the EU, Estonia is always on the forefront when it comes to simplifying government tasks and to use technology to advance their country. And the robot judge is supposed to be one of these projects, handling the cases that no one else could handle. Artificial justice is better than no justice, right? But is this morally justifiable? Courts and the administration of justice are the cornerstones of democracy and important for any society. A society in which you cannot rely on an independent authority to verify whether an action is legal or not would be an anarchy. However, there is no clear right or wrong in court. There are a lot of arguments and interests have to be weighted against each other in order to come to a decision that is fair. Do we really want to hand over this important area of our society to a machine? Would this automatically lead to an increase in convictions because an AI is stricter and therefore imposes longer sentence for minor offenses? Well, that depends on how the AI is programmed and what data is available for training. The responsibility would shift from the judges to the computer scientists and engineers, but they are not necessarily trained for this case. And what if an AI makes a wrong decision? Of course, at the beginning every decision is carefully examined probably even better than any decision made by a human judge. But at some point you want to let the AI work alone and save costs and of course avoid mistakes. Because in most areas where AI is used, after a certain development phase it reaches a status where it's even better than most or even sometimes all humans. It is like in self-driving cars. At first they are experimental and unsafe. Then they start to get better and may even be used in real life under supervision. But then at some point they get better than humans and this leads to people being prohibited from operating a car themselves. This is how it could go with the courts if it turns out that AI is simply much less likely to make a wrong decision. There's a problem though. What is true and what is false? AI, and we should always remember this, is math. Nothing else. And in math, results must define precisely. If car broken, then AI autopilot is bad, else AI autopilot is good. 
and a car hitting a tree is bad everywhere in the world. So it's easy to determine a wrong decision and train the AI to avoid it next time. But a judgment in one case in the United States can be completely wrong in a similar case in China. And most of the time it probably is. And this is not only because China and the US have completely different laws, but because you can never say that a decision in court is right or wrong. Not even courts agree. Some decide more harshly, some don't. Both are compliant with the law. And I think that the diversity and also the human side of course cases is important. I am very often in favor of usage of AI technology to improve our lives. And I am also very interested to see how well AI is developing in Estonia. But in the end, I think only humans should judge other humans. How do you think about it? Thank you very much for watching.